Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ask Jeff, where we answer your questions. And we ask questions. It's going to be a fun show. We're going to go for about a half an hour today and try to answer as many questions as we can about Android. <laughs> I know you guys love that. About iOS, of course, about the iPhone, the new iPhone, the whole YouTube fiasco with the new iOS 6 beta. So I'm, lo I'm looking forward to answering some of your questions. I'm looking forward to having some of your feedback. And uh, hopefully you guys can follow along and participate in the show. So first of all, let's head over to Twitter. Again, if you have a question, either ask the question in the YouTube, um, on the YouTube video using a comment. Someone's, let's see, someone's texting me. Wow, I just received a, a text message from like, like literally three weeks ago. I'm not sure what's up with that. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so first question we're gonna I'm gonna answer here. I saw a good question earlier. I really wanted to get to it, but let me see here. Where is that question? Scrolling on the Twitter feed. Um oh, something about the iOS six uh YouTube removing the YouTube app. I love that. I love the idea because number one, the current YouTube app is garbage. I don't think anyone uses that. Of course, I don't use it. And me being so into YouTube, it's kind of shocking, but that's how bad the app was. It was terrible. So I think it's a great move for both parties. Number one, uh, of course, Google's gonna be able to hopefully monetize their content. So that means people like me can get paid for mobile views, which will be good because we're starving artists here, <laughs> starving bloggers. And then number two is it's good for Apple because they get an actual legit YouTube app, something that can hopefully compete with what's on Android because Android's YouTube app blows iOS's app out of the water. So hopefully that's gonna change for the better. I know the Gmail app wasn't really a good indication on how um, Google develops their applications, at least upfront, it was really lacking at first. It still is quite lacking, uh, but it's a little better. Hopefully they do a better job with the YouTube app. They put a little more time and effort into the YouTube app um, when you compare it with the Gmail app. But let's not hold our breath. But don't you think that with the removal of the iOS 6 YouTube, or with the removal of the YouTube app on iOS 6, that it will have many ads? I don't think YouTube is going to, or Google is going to just bombarded with ads but hopefully they will put ads on there i mean that's just speaking from my opinion yeah, of course that's that has an interest i'm interested in that because i get paid off that's how i get that's how i eat at the end of the day is what advertisement i mean why beat around the bush on that subject i'm just keeping it real with you guys i mean that is how i get paid so I, i'm looking forward to it to be honest with you but at the same time i don't want them to bombard users with ads I think YouTube is pretty balanced in the way they do advertising. I don't think it's over the top. It could be worse. I like how they allow you to skip past the ads if you want to skip past them. But, you know, that's really kind of a question for another day. It's let, Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something else here. All right, let's check the Twitter feed now. And again, I apologize for how erratic this, this thing is. It's my first official Ask Jeff Live. I had some cool things planned for you guys, but it didn't work out quite that way. So I'm just winging it right now. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. So here's another question from Lucas Hees. How did you get into jailbreaking? You know, that's an interesting question. I got into jailbreaking probably about in 2009, 2010, early 2010. I just bought an iPhone 3G. I believe it was a 3G. And I decided to use Black Rain. That was that was what was popular right back then. With Geo Hot, he was like on top of things. And um, I used Black Rain and I jailbroke my iPhone 3G. I think I put Display Recorder on there and I, I did something to allow you to, because back then you couldn't even take, I don't think you could take video on the iPhone 3G if my memory serves me correctly. So th there was a tweak out that allowed you to actually record video which was pretty weak, but at the, at the time it was awesome. I thought it was the greatest thing since sliced bread at the time. But looking back on that now with our 1080p video capability and all that, I mean, it's just, it seems silly. All right, let's go back and ask him 
or answer some questions that I may have missed. Don't want to miss any of you guys' great questions. Uh, will there be notification center widgets for Mountain Lion? You know what? I don't know that. I mean, I guess people can make, I'm sure, actually I've already seen one, people have made some, some tweaks for Mountain Lion. So I'm sure that'll be something we'll see more in the future. So just stay tuned to that. Uh, let's see. Let me ask, answer some other questions. First of all, I want to know what you guys think about um, about this whole Samsung Apple thing. What do you think about that? Are you, are you just ignoring it? Or do you think it's entertaining? Or do you think Apple should definitely continue to be gung-ho with their lawsuits? Things like that. What do you guys think about the whole Apple, Samsung gate, lawsuits and all that? I'm kind of getting tired of hearing about it, but it is interesting. We've learned a lot that a lot of things that we never would have known, like the prototypes and all that, small details about Steve Jobs and his his thoughts on seven inch tablets and little details like that that we would have never we would have never found these things out if this uh, trial wasn't happening. So for that, for an iOS or for an Apple fan, it's great. But um, you know, for you know just the average tech person, it's kind of boring, I guess. Okay, let's check the channel now. Kind of ignoring the channel. I don't want to do that. Everyone is ignoring it because it's stupid. They could use the money to create better products and improve the software for the old ones. The trial is idiotic. Will there be an I download block? <laughs> I download blog app anytime soon. You know, I don't know. Um, that's something we've definitely talked about. I know Sebastian has looked into it. It, it. We will do it if it's, you know, if it makes sense. If you can, if we can provide you with a better experience than you can, than you, than you can get already on the website, then we will do it. But if not, then we won't. You know, I, you know what I hate more than anything though, is when sites, they keep asking you over and over, would you like to open this site on the on the uh, app version? Like if you visit someone's mobile site, it'll, you get a little pop-up notification saying, would you like to visit the, the official app for this? And it keeps popping up. You say no, it keeps popping up. We don't, we don't want to go that route. So we want to just, we want to make sure it's best for the end users. And if we can provide you with a better experience with an app, then we will do an app. If not, then we'll, we'll just hold off until the time's right. Why don't you show us your face? That is probably the number one question that I've gotten. And I, you guys know, the, the people who actually, the people who watch this channel like on a daily basis know that I've shown my face numerous times. I've shown my face like a gazillion times, but I just don't show my face because number one, I'm not the focus of this. It's not Jeff Download Blog, it's I Download Blog. Um, granted, I do do the videos and I'm the voice behind a lot of the site's material, but it's a whole lot more than just me. Uh, we got Cody, we got Sebastian, which you guys will hopefully hear soon um, on the on the podcast, on the official IDB show, which was supposed to air yesterday, but again, we had some, some things come up. So just stay tuned for that, and we will have that. But yes, I have shown my face quite a few times, um, and you know, I don't know. I just like to focus on the tech. The comments 135 viewers i don't know i wonder what the um maximum amount of viewers was so far well 143 now what do you use to edit your videos i use a combination of imovie i use um adobe after effects i use final cut those are like my three go-to apps um i use motion so i use a lot of different things it really just depends on what i'm doing What's better, the Magic Touchpad or the Magic Mouse? I'm telling you, man, this thing is terrible in my opinion. I hate this thing. I rarely ever use it. You see it, you may see it on my videos. It's just for the looks, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't think I, I've used this over an hour total. I just don't like it. I don't like using a trackpad. It's not accurate enough for me. I like the Magic Mouse. Let's add some iOS, let's get some iOS questions. 
How do you think iOS 6 will run on the iPhone 3GS? It's going to run okay. The 3GS is still no slouch. I mean, you got to remember that thing was was pretty powerful in its heyday. Um, it's not going to run the best, but it's going to be comparable, I guess you could say, to the iPhone 4, sort of. A little slower, but it should handle it decently enough. Really, iOS 6, besides the new maps, it really, I mean, what is it doing that's really taxing the system that much? Ask yourself that. Can I have your trackpad? Uh, no. I still may use it eventually. Um, but no, sorry. Do you use any cases for your iPhone or iPad? I use the, um, let me see, what is this? Smart cover. I use a smart cover. That's about it. I did have a back cover, but it broke, so I need a new get a new back cover. I might get a smart case. What do you guys, any of you guys use a smart case? What do you think about that? I'm just afraid of um, scratching up the back. As far as the iPhone, I do use a book book case, um, but other than that, I tend to, keep, tend to keep the iPhone out of the case when I'm at home, and I usually just put it in the case when I'm on the go. How old are you? I am 30 years old. Some of these questions are ridiculous, man. <laughs> I'm just going to call some people out right now. But most of them are great. <laughs> Would you ever get an Android power device just to have some kind of new thing on your channel? Well, I do have an Android power device. Seven. It's right. I really like it. It's pretty awesome. Um... Yeah, I like this thing. I use it all the time, actually. Oddly enough, I use it more than my iPad right now, which is, um, you know, it's pretty awesome. I like it. Let's see. Man, just so many questions. I'm sorry. I can't keep up with them all. So what do you guys think about the latest batch of jailbreak tweaks? What, what is your favorite tweak that has come out recently? What do you think about um, like Bat Saver, for instance? Do you, do you use that? How do you feel about Bat? Man, so many questions. Wow, guys. Thanks a lot. Um, you are a millionaire. Not quite. Far from it. Not at all. Bat Saver really works. Yes, it does work from what I've experienced. I, I was able to save. I mean, it wasn't anything like, wow, this is just awesome. But it did save me, I'd say, 10% on my battery. I tested it for almost a month. And um, I consistently got about 10% extra. Now, I did have a few problems here and there with it. But for the most part, I was pretty satisfied. Of course, your mileage may vary. You may have a different experience than I did. But... Um, I found it to be pretty, um, pretty reliable. Favorite device on your desk? Hmm. Wow. The iMac, because that's where I get all my work done. Um, that's where I spend most of my time. If I'm doing something tech related, it's usually on the iMac um, because I, that's where I, you know, produce the videos and. I do it on my MacBook as well and on the um, Mac Mini, but for the most part, that's, that's my main device. Do I fly often? Huh, that's interesting. I'll get to that in a minute. Let's f answer some more Apple-related questions here. Will there be something like Street View in iOS 6 Maps? And is Apple at least able to do something like that? I hope so, because honestly, Street View is one of the coolest features about Google Maps. And the fact that we no longer have Street View is a pretty big hit on the user experience, in my opinion. I think um, Apple will eventually um, you know, partner with, I guess, what was it, TomTom Tom that they're partnering, partnering with? Hopefully, the, the, those two can work it out where they can get some sort of street view, but I don't know, with the whole patent thing and, and things of that nature, that may be a little difficult. 
But we should hopefully see a, um, a third party Google Apps map or Google Maps app um, in the future, just like the Gmail app and just like the YouTube app. So hopefully the whole Google suite will come to the iPhone and be just as, as good, if not better, um, than the previous. Well, it won't be better because it's not integrated, but it should be decent, I would say. It'll be better in some instances and worse in others. Like when it comes to integration, it'll be worse. When it comes to actual usability, it'll likely be better. Okay, well, lots of tweets. Do you think there will come an iPad mini? Yes, we will see an iPad mini in September. Apple TV 3 jailbreak, that's, that's a stumper, man. I mean, these, the Apple TV 3 has, has hung on for quite a while. I mean, how long has it been? It's been months since that was released. Back when, during the iPad 3's release, what was that, in February? Let's see, March, April, May, June, July, August, six months at least, um, and no jailbreak. So that one's, a, that, one's, that one's a difficult one. I'm sure many people want that 1080p with their jailbroken Apple TV. I still have the 720p version. I have that one jailbroken. But I would like to have the 1080p version jailbroken as well. Oh, wow. Oh. Is the MacBook Air worth the thousand dollars? Yes, if you need a laptop and you're working, but you're not doing too, anything too intensive on it. Like if you're editing videos, the top of the line MacBook Air should be okay for you, the 13 inch version, but the 11 inch version, uh, sort of the middle of the road version is not gonna be enough for you to, to really do any kind of editing or any of, Photoshop or anything like that. You need a bigger device, bigger screen. You need something more powerful. Now, just for an everyday computing device, if, you, if you're in need of a laptop, this thing is excellent. I mean, it's the best laptop ever, in my opinion. The 11 inch version, it's small, it's portable. You can take it and go. Now the battery life isn't that great, but um, just for your average computer, it's great. I think it's cheap, well, relatively cheap anyway. $1,000 isn't exactly cheap, but when it comes to Apple laptops, that's pretty cheap, right? Whoa, Apple TV 2s are selling for 250? Really? People are really that they really want Wow, I'm glad I came hung on to mine. I can't believe that. Really 250? I need to search Amazon for that real quick. Uh, old version. Wow. Well, it's not exactly 250, but um, see all buying options. Whoa, you're not lying, dude. 299. Oh, uh, there's some used versions though. You can get a used one, but it's still way more expensive than it was new. Cheap as you can get used is 155. Wow. So people really want that because they realize all this stuff. I've been telling people for months all the things you could do with Apple TV too, and a lot of people just didn't listen. I don't know why, but you can do so much with the Apple TV too. It's amazing. And it's that little box with that little processor with hardly any RAM, hardly any onboard storage uh, is an amazing device it does so much when it's jailbroken it does a lot even non-jailbroken but when it's jailbroken it's amazing why do you think apple is so hesitant to change anything major on ios or adding features people have been asking for you know that's a really that's a really good question thanks for that question josh um you know, I think the main reason for that is usability and familiarity. I mean, everybody, everyone knows what an iPhone looks like. Everyone knows the app, um, the home screen with the row of apps. 
Um, and that's simple. It's straightforward to the point. People who have been in the iPhone ecosystem for years know exactly how to use iOS 6, just like they knew how to use the initial iPhone OS. So I just think it boils down to familiarity and ease of use. The iPhone is probably the easiest smartphone on the market to use. You open an app, you want to close the app, you hit the home button, you want to open another app, you open the app. I mean, how much more simpler could it get than that? You don't have any widgets to worry about configuring and things like that. Now, there are some deeper settings in iOS. As time has gone on, it's adopted a lot of additional features, but the core of the experience has remained the same, and it remains the same over across all the devices, except for the Apple TV, of course. And uh, even that has started to go more so uh, in the way of traditional iOS. And then you look at the, uh, the desktop, um, OS 10. Look how that's starting to adopt more iOS features. So I think Apple just wants to keep things familiar. Um, it's working for them, obviously. I mean, look how much they've earned. Even though they haven't sold as many devices, their earning, their earning potential is still ridiculous. So I don't know, it's working for them. Now, I do agree, it's kind of boring after a while. I mean, after you use an iPhone since the 3G or some of you guys have used it since the 2G, um, the experience hasn't changed that much. But you got to go with what's familiar. If you're Apple, you've always been a company that's relied on ease of use, uh, that's relied on familiarity, that hasn't tried to do too much. They're innovative, but they don't, when they innovate, they tend to stick with what they've innovated and just build upon that. Um, and that's what, that's what Apple continues to do with iOS. Now, will they add some of the features that people have been asking for, like widgets? I don't think we'll ever see widgets, at least, I don't think we'll ever see widgets the way that we view widgets. I think if we, if we get widgets, it's gonna be something amplified. <laughs> it's gonna be something different than what we may be used to. It may just be a big app, like a huge app, like an app that takes up six, you know, six icons or something, I don't know. But I think it's, they're gonna make it really easy to use. They're not gonna make it complicated because Android widgets, those are complicated. I mean, if you switched over from Android, I've used the Nexus 7, it's a lot more difficult to use. Now granted, I'm not, as familiar with it, but it's a lot more difficult than iOS. I don't think anyone would debate would debate that fact. So sorry I went on a kind of a rant there, but I think that's the reason Apple's hesitant. Number one, they're selling well. Why change it up? Number two, they're continuing to innovate on the back end. They're continuing to optimize the iOS experience. And number three, it's just familiar. Why why go away from you know what everyone knows is an icon? No pun intended, but the iPhone home screen is an icon is iconic. So I think that's the main reason why you see Apple just sticking with what works for them. Whoa. Okay. Let's see. So you guys have any last minute questions? We got about six more minutes on the show. I want to know, what do you guys think about this? Do you like this open format? Do you like Ask Jeff Live? I was thinking about doing this maybe once a month. Do you think that's too much? Do you think that's too little? Um, I wanted to make it a lot better. I had some additional things planned, but YouTube didn't want to work out for me very well. So I just kept it simple uh, with this initial episode. So... Um, yeah, I just want to know what you guys think about. What do you think about the format? Do you like the way I ask the questions? Do you Are you mad because I've missed your questions? Which I'm sure I've missed tons of them. I'm sure of that. Someone asked me, have I ever used a PC? <laughs> cool, Caveman35. Have you ever used a PC? Yes, I have used a PC. In fact, I was a PC user exclusively up until about four or five years ago. So... Yes, I am a very, very um, seasoned PC user, if you will. Once a week, once every two weeks, Twice a week? No, I can't do that. You guys will get sick of hearing my voice. Um, 
Okay, so you guys like it. So I think most people like it. Um, what would you like the interval to be? Would you like it to be once a week or once a month? It's either going to be one or the other. I'm leaning towards more so once a month because I just think you guys would get sick and tired of hearing me. And I'm actually getting sick of hearing my own voice, to be honest with you. What do you think about Hackintosh? You know, I tried a Hackintosh once and it worked out okay, but there's nothing like the real thing. It just isn't. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm sure you can get it running probably even better than, um, you know, an iMac. It's just something about the hardware that I like. But hey, if you can get it working, more power to you. Yeah, that is true. Uh, SVIDs 10 says, so great show. I will definitely tune into them in the future. The biggest issue is not knowing ahead of time when they will be done. So set days and times are great. Yes, and that's what I plan on doing is to have a set standing appointment. And that's not the only show we're going to be doing. We have a couple other shows in production that will hopefully go a little smoother than this show um, that we, we plan on doing. So a uh, couple other live shows that we hope hope to add to the agenda. Uh, have it going at least maybe a couple of times a week or a couple of times a month. You'll see a live show. Who knows? But we're going to get that down. We're going to get the schedule down. And we will let you guys know ahead of time so that you can be ready with your questions. You can tune in. This was sort of spur of the moment. But I did promise you guys I would have a live show this week, so I wanted to make sure I went ahead and, and did that. Didn't keep you guys waiting when I said I would, so. Okay. All right, so if you guys could, I know I, don't, I never ask this on my videos, but if you give me a thumbs up, that would be great. Um, and share the video with your friends. That would be awesome as well. So we will be back um, let's see. I don't know soon, but I will let you know ahead of time before we air another show. And hopefully, uh, really soon, we'll, we will have a, um, um, the IDB show, which will be IDB Live, the hashtag IDB Live. We'll have that uh, in the near future, and Sebastian and Cody will be on the show, and that'll be really entertaining. You guys are going to, those guys are hilarious, so they're way funnier than I am. So that'll be, that'll be really cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that wraps it about up. Let me just check the comments to make sure there's no outstanding questions that I must answer right now. I know there's a lot of nonsense comments, but I think there's more there's more good listeners than bad listeners. So there's way more uh, awesome listeners than not so awesome listeners. Just make a G plus event. Now, that is true, but um, I'm not sure how that's going to work with YouTube. I want to make sure this stays with YouTube so all the users, all the viewers can get a, uh, a good, good idea of what's going on. Again, like the video if you like this, and then if I get enough likes, then maybe we'll do it again. Thank you so much for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry about all the technical difficulties that went on during the show. I wanted to have a better show for you guys, but uh, in the end, I think things worked out quite well. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys really, really make my day, and it's very appreciated how attentive you are and how many good questions you have as well. So if you have any comments or questions or concerns, then be sure to send us a tweet over at uh, I Download Blog. Um, make sure you send us a tweet. Let us know if you have any questions or concerns. And also, you know what to do. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.